Hi, this is the last lecture for the pathology of female reproductive system, which is gestational and placental disorders. In this lecture, I'm going to concentrate on gestational trophoblastic disorders. Hydatidy for mole is associated with increased risk of invasive mole and uh, Cars choriocarcinoma is usually diagnosed in early pregnancy in average nine weeks of POA or period of amenorrhea and the, it, the risk is higher in two ends of reproductive life in teenagers and also in um, women 40 to 50 years of age and it's more common in Southeast Asia. There are two types of benign non-invasive moles, complete mole and partial mole. So I'm going to talk about the difference between the two. So complete mole is fertilization of egg that has lost its female chromosome, which is, in other words is an empty ovum. Hence the genetic of complete mole is completely paternally derived. Meanwhile, partial mole is fertilization of egg with two sperms. So in complete in a complete mole, 90% is 46XX cardiotype, which is duplication of one sperm. Meanwhile, in partial mole, the cardiotype is triploid because it's fertilization of it with two sperms. So it's um, 69XXY or tetraploid, 92XXXY. In a complete mole, embryo is not identified, while in partial mole, fetal tissues are typically present. Complete mole is associated with subsequent choriocarcinoma, while partial mole is not associated with choriocarcinoma. In a complete mole, there is a 15% risk of persistent or invasive mole, while in a partial mole, there is an increased risk of a persistent mole. And microscopically in a complete mole, the changes involve all or most of the villous tissues, while in microscopic partial, uh, in, in a partial mole, the microscopic features will be only some of the villi are affected, which is enlarged and edematous, with focal trophoblastic hyperplasia, and it's less marked than complete mole. One of the um, immunohistochemistries that can be used to distinguish between complete mole and partial mole is P57. P57 will be negative in a complete mole because there is no maternal DNA, while in partial mole it will be positive. So this is how a complete mole looks like. Macroscopically, it looks um, like a grape-like structure, friable, thin wall, translucent, and cystic. And microscopically, we'll see enlarged chorionic villi and with scalloping in shape in the edges is scalloping. With central cavitation, there is a central cavity within it, or it's called cisterns, and it's covered by extensive trophoblastic proliferation involving the entire circumference of the villi. In choriocarcinoma, it's derived from previously normal or abnormal pregnancy, the abnormal pregnancy being high dead for mole, previous abortions, um, can be derived from normal pregnancy as well, and also ectopic pregnancy. It's rapidly invasive and it can metastasize widely, but it responds well to chemotherapy. Microscopically, it can present a soft, fleshy, yellow-white tumor with large areas of necrosis and extensive hemorrhage. And microscopically, you wouldn't see coronic villi. It's entirely proliferating syncytiotrophoblasts and cytotrophoblasts. So if you recall the histology of coronic villi, it's lined by trophoblasts, which are syncytiotrophoblasts and cytotrophoblasts. So in a choriocarcinoma, it's composed entirely of these trophoblastic cells. So this is an example of syncytiotrophoblast and the single cells you can see here are the cytotrophoblasts. So that's it for my presentation on pathology of female reproductive system. I hope that helps. Thank you.